and here comes Greggy. Greggy's attacking the Belgian rider that we've been talking about all day is attacking right at the bottom of the 23rd. Well, and it looked to me as if it was an Australian jersey as well coming up alongside him there. No, it's not. It's Peter Sagan. Ah, oh, Peter Sagan, we've not seen him all day and he's made the move straight over the top there of Greg Van Avermaet. We haven't talked about Peter Sagan, only in the anonymity, but here he is, he's made the move over the top of this climb. Van Avermaet was digging deep there, rocking his shoulders, trying to get onto that wheel. All of a sudden, Peter Sagan, there he is around that corner, he's got the gap. Two and a half kilometres to go, one and a half miles of racing. This is the man who four times has won the world, the, the points championship, I have to say, at the Tour de France. He looks good here, he's getting into a low profile position but he's got to be calm he hasn't got to make too much of an effort you said to me before we came into the commentary position the only person who can beat peter sagan today is peter sagan it's so true he has so much at, oh he has so much in his arsenal i mean he's amazing he could do whatever he wants he could go from way out he could still win in the sprint oh. he has too many so many different things so he's Chris, obviously gone from way out at that gap the way he went around that corner this is a man who is an unbelievable bike handler you want to see some of the things he can do on a bike this is a huge risk now at 1.7 Seven kilometers to go to go this far out he knows what's ahead of him with 700 meters to go he's gonna hit uh, the climb of Governor's Hill the GPS speed now on Peter Sagan is 41 and a half whoa 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 straight up to 31 miles an hour for Peter Sagan he's got one hand in the middle of the handlebars here it looks almost as if he's riding the world time trial championships he's going right now but he has a long way to the finish line it looks like Greg Van Abbott and I'm gonna guess that it's Boston Hagen who is with them the Norwegian rider but Norwegian rider is not helping out Greg at all. Christian, can you make a move like this when you're Peter Sagan? He's the only one who knows how much power he's got left in those legs of here. But now uh, all of a now sudden, he can. those two guys behind, they're starting to think, oh, bronze medal, silver medal, what am I going to do? I don't want to drag Edvald Bosenhagen to the finish line. This is such a risk for a man like Peter Sagan to do. The next thing he will see will be the Flamme Rouge, that sign in international cycling, the red kite over the line, indicating one kilometre left to go. There it is. Now, this is a very nasty little 300-meter ascent now. If he looks over his shoulder, uh, he will see the shadow of the main field coming up. But I think he's opening up the gap right now. Now, Greg is all in right now. Greg Van Avermet, the Belgian rider, is all in. He can't wait any longer. It doesn't matter if Bolsonaro isn't going to help him. He has to go, but I think he's going to get swallowed up by the group. But it looks like Peter Sagan has a big gap, and I don't know if they're going to come back on him. Oh, the gear is hurting. He was just trying to find the right gear. Now he's inside of the last six or 700 meters. You can feel the pain coming out of those legs of Peter Sagan, the man who really has made an incredible name for himself here in the United States. The first time we ever saw this man dominate the Amgen Tour of California, he couldn't speak a word of English. Now he speaks English with an American accent. It's going to be so very close now. Sagan has made that massive risk of going out so far from the finish, and we've seen it turn around so many times. It always gets a little bit foreshortened here because of the camera lens, but Peter Sagan, he's time trialing to the finish. They're all over the road behind him. Can he hold on for this? This will be a magnificent victory. We've not seen him all day. He's waiting for that final moment to make the acceleration. Sagan looking for the last little bit of energy to come out of his body. The main field behind there zigzagging, trying to get themselves over that gap to Peter Sagan, but this is one of the most prolific winners on the international circuit here. He rides for the Slovakian team. He's the national champion in the time trial in the road race as Peter Sagan just waits for that line to come up. He's going to do it here this afternoon. Peter Sagan looks whack one more time to confirm that, yes, I am the champion of the world. Well, Christian, what about that? That was unbelievable.